Astronomers have studied the various galaxies in our universe for quite some time. The study of galaxies has become quite a fascination due to the fact that there are plenty of them in both the local as well as the distant universe, and many mysteries of their existence is yet to be resolved. Our Milky Way has been studied in great depth, but astronomers did not expect the Milky Way to come with a twin. If finding out more on this intrigues you, do stay tuned to find out more. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Galaxies have often been compared to fingerprints. This is due to the fact that they all look quite similar from a distance, yet they all come with their own unique features. Our Milky Way looks like a beautiful spiral made of billions of diamond-like stars. In fact, it has been predicted that our Milky Way consists of around 700 billion stars, one of which is our Sun. The Milky Way also happens to be made up of plenty of gas clouds. Astronomers have been studying the various galaxies for quite a long time, and quite recently, they discovered that there are two distant galaxies that are quite similar to our Milky Way. These twin galaxies come with Magellanic clouds, which is a distinctive feature that opens up a space for further research. According to Aaron Robotham, a study leader at the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research and the University of St. Andrews, only 3% of galaxies like the Milky Way come with companion galaxies with Magellanic clouds. This occurrence is clearly a rare one, and stumbling upon one has opened up doors to the answers to a lot of questions that have been left hanging for years together. On looking into the universe and the various galaxies, it was found that there are 14 such galaxies that possess traits similar to our Milky Way, with two of them being exact matches to our galaxy. In order to find them, astronomers had to go through 340,000 galaxies to find this twin to our Milky Way. While doing this, astronomers had to be very careful not to omit any galaxies. To study these galaxies, powerful telescopes were used to detect the galaxies and their companion still. These telescopes would look into large sections of the sky and capture the various galaxies present in it. Here, the Magellanic Clouds would be observed in the Southern Hemisphere night sky. These Magellanic Clouds would be both small and big and of different shapes and sizes. It is important to note that these Magellanic Cloud companions do not exist for very long and in fact perish in a few billion years. Gravity is said to cause many phenomena in space and it warps the fabric of space, thus leading us to view an optical illusion. This illusion is a magnified version of a distant galaxy. This image is usually quite bright and stretched out. This image passed through a galaxy cluster in front of it. This entire phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing. Even Albert Einstein looked into the theory of gravitational lensing when he was working on his general theory of relativity in the early 20th century. According to the various concepts of mathematics, the presence of a large celestial body could bend passing light rays. This would be quite similar to how a glass lens bends light in a telescope of a microscope. Speaking of lenses, a gravitational lens can occur when a huge amount of matter creates a gravitational field that distorts and magnifies the light from distant galaxies that are behind it. These types of matter may include clusters of galaxies. Furthermore, when we look into the same line of sight, the visual effect is quite similar to what we see when viewing through a magnifying glass. That results provided by such lenses allow astronomers and researchers to look into the various details of the galaxies that existed millions of years ago and also understand how the birth of these galaxies took place. These galaxies are too far away to be seen by us, and hence telescope and technology is required as an aid to help in viewing them better. The Hubble Telescope of NASA has been used by astronomers for quite a long time. One of the astronomers who was looking to the study of galaxies stumbled upon one odd shape while analyzing quasars. This was probably caused due to the blazing cause of active galaxies. During these observations, two bright linear objects were spotted and there were mirror images of each other. The astronomers who viewed this were shocked to witness such a duplicate in our galaxy. They were not able to understand what was the cause of such an occurrence and for several years, this answer was not found. Gravitational lensing was only found out and proved much later, but this concept is quite important to the study. It was proven that this phenomenon created an image in which three objects were observed in a distorted image in a faraway undiscovered galaxy. It was also noticed that the precise alignment of the background galaxy in the foreground lensing cluster caused a rare occurrence of twin celestials that were as observed by astronomers. Richard Griffith from the University of Hawaii and his team looked into solving a big mystery of this replica of a galaxy. While doing so, they noticed that the linear objects that were observed were the stretched images of a gravitationally lensed distant galaxy located more than a billion light years away and that they appeared to be minor images of each other. In the year 2013, 
Timothy Hamilton from Shawnee State University accidentally stumbled upon this occurrence while trying to capture some findings with the Hubble telescope. He was able to locate a few objects, and he named them as Hamilton's objects. Here, a feature that was observed before was observed again. Dark streaks across the galactic bulge were observed. Furthermore, the precise alignment of a background galaxy in a foreground galaxy cluster produced twin magnified copies of the same image of the remote galaxy. This unique occurrence was said to be caused when the background galaxy straddled a ripple in the fabric of space. It is important to note that the ripple is an area of greatest magnification caused by the gravity of dense amounts of dark matter. The light from distant galaxies passes through the cluster that form this ripple. In short, it functions as a virtual adhesive that makes up most of the mass of the universe. The two mirror images that were produced had a third image that can be off to the site. On further looking to these occurrences, a better suited answer was found in 2015. Hamilton had presented his findings at a meeting with Griffith Richards, and here the concept of gravitational lensing was spoken about in great length. This seemed to make a lot of sense in the conversations that were happening. Astronomers were able to spot another galaxy in the distant universe that appeared to be duplicated in the night sky by a degree of 12. This was able to be captured by them by the Hubble telescope. This opened the doors to gaining a better understanding of the origins of the entire universe. Here, the galaxy appeared multiple times in the image. This occurrence was named the Sunburst Arc. Around 11 billion light years away, the Sunburst Arc galaxy is one singular galaxy whose duplicate or mirror image is captured multiple times due to the massive strength of gravitational lensing. This caused four clear light arcs to be formed, one in the lower left corner and three in the right-hand side corner. In short, the galaxy appears multiple times within each arc. Capturing these images and securing such data was possible, all thanks to the Hubble telescope. The Hubble telescope uses a complex magnifying lens to study far-off places in the universe in great detail. The scientists observing the sunburst arc were able to travel back time to a time 150 million years ago, which is sometime shortly after the Big Bang took place. Einstein has also looked into these occurrences. Unfortunately, during his time, all of this remained as theories as technology was not developed. According to some theories of Einstein, if the observer is located at the correct distance, the deflected sun rays from around the celestial object would converge to make a magnified image. This is what we had mentioned earlier as gravitational lensing. It seems like he had this phenomenon figured out back then, just that he did not have the technology to prove it. With that, we come to the end of today's video. We hope you were able to get the insight you wanted into the magnificent discovery of a possible twin of the Milky Way. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell icon to be in the loop of what's going on in our channel. See you soon!